that's recording. All right, y'all, Lead Farmer 73 here. Me and Lady Lead, she's with me. Now, I just did a video on um, the tree falling in my yard, and, and I'm gonna try to re release that first. But um, let, let's just, let me just show you this, because I don't know if I'm gonna even release that video. But uh, out here in my wood chip garden, where I planted all my sweet potatoes and all my vegetables and tomatoes and peppers and everything else, a tree over there on the other side of the creek fell the other day because of all this rain we've been getting. So I am uh, I'm out of a garden this year. Luckily it didn't hit anything, it didn't tear anything up. That's too serious. This is a good and a bad situation. So it's a bad situation, the tree has failed, but it did let us know something why I'm out here right now. Uh, one of the big giant logs, I had a subscriber to ask me, uh, when are my sweet potatoes done? And is, is it when it flowers? Yeah, sometime when it flowers, you know, they're, that, that's an indication they're about ready to come up. But sometime with this weird weather, not so much. But this year, look what we found. They're ready. So I would have never knew this, and this probably would have just got bigger. That's pretty too, ain't it? But uh, big one of these big giant logs, as you can see, all this mess and debris that they got around here, destroyed my sweet potato uh, bin and knocked all the potatoes out. Check it out. Uh, I got these gloves on again. Check that out. You can see the potatoes right there on top of the ground. The log hit it so hard that it knocked potatoes out of the ground. So what I'm gonna do is, yeah, yeah, give me, give me a hand, baby. Let me see, I just wanna make sure they can see this right here. Yeah, you can see, oh my God, oh baby. This did better. What y'all need to understand is, this was grown, as you can see, in pure wood chips. No soil. Only wood chips these potatoes grew. Okay? So that's the important thing that I'm getting at today. Uh, okay. I don't want to break you either. Yeah, these, oh man, they nice. You got the bucket, that. baby? Look at that. Look at this. Let's see. Yeah, they can see it. Uh, look at that. Pure wood chips, y'all. If I told you it works. Everybody to keep thumbing me down saying, oh, that don't work. You got to let them sit for years. No, you do not. I've been doing this now for two seasons, and y'all keep seeing the same results. It works. So... The people that's giving me the thumbs down saying this pure wood chip garden, raised bed garden don't work. Look, as you can see, I can't stage this. I can't make this, you know, this ain't a lie. This is right here in your face. Look at that. Look at the size of that. That bundle right there. That's one big potato right here. That's another one. Here's another one. Okay. I'm going to keep going. And what I'm going to do, look at <laughs> that. Look, look at that. That's a double fister. Hey, baby. Look, <laughs> look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish harvesting some of these potatoes, and then I'm going to come back because I planted this whole bed from now on, as a matter of fact. We decided we're going to plant this whole wood chip garden of just sweet potatoes because that's a staple of our diet here. We, we eat tomatoes, but we don't eat them so much. I love my jalapeno peppers, but uh, our okra, but the sweet potatoes, we buy them like they going out of style. So next season, this whole bed, at least 60% of this bed, 70% of this bed will be sweet potatoes. So I come back and let y'all know what we got, okay? All right, baby, fingers. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just had to show y'all. I ain't even got out of the first end of this box over here. That's actually an end right here. End. But this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, when I say pure wood chip, do you understand what I'm telling you? Look, big pieces, nothing is hardly broken down. 
I'm telling you, and let me see if you can see that right there. I want to make sure you see that right there. You see that? I'm just digging that out of the wood chips. The lower we go, the more it broke down. The thieves were coming out of the top of the bed. And I'm trying to do this without breaking them. We got so many nice sized potatoes right here. Look at this big, big hog right here. See what I'm saying? So don't believe everything you, you hear. Or you ain't gotta be no scientist. Sometimes try stuff yourself. You know, some of the stuff y'all ask me, try it yourself. You know, it might work different for you. Look at that, I got a whole twist though of potatoes. So, I just wanna show y'all. Let me see if they spread it over this way, they didn't. Just wanna see. Here go another little bundle here. Just to show you, same stage, it's wood chips. Can you see that? Make sure you can. This is all wood chips, y'all. Told you. you. I'm growing sweet potatoes, and I'm gonna show you like this. The size of that. Can you see that whole thing? Cause I can't see cause of the sun. I'm growing that in wood chips, y'all. Okay. And I got about five of those already. Look at that. Look at that gold mine down there. Okay, wood chips down here done broke down a little bit. So I'm trying not to, not to pull this hole. Look at that. Look at that. It's Christmas time. Look at all of that. Big hog potatoes. See that? See what I'm talking about, y'all? This is what I'm saying. Don't listen to everything you hear. Trust me. If you sometimes the proof is in the pudding. See that? And I ain't even close to done. I got, I got a whole field to go. Look at that already. Only pulled up three little spots. Okay, left arm at 73. I'm burning up, y'all. My phone gave out on me. Temperature again. So I'm hurry up and do this, okay? And it's gonna end it out. Uh, I only dug out of one box. Number one is too hot. Number two, uh, the workers are coming back to finish with this other, this tree cleanup. So I'ma stop. But just that little bit I just did, I can't imagine how much I'm going to have. This is about 30 pounds of potatoes. Check it out. Look at that, y'all. Loaded with big hogs. Like that. Big, juice, juicy hogs. You see that? Where's that anaconda at? I was proud of him. Oh, there he go. He look like a snake. So, like I said, wood chips work, y'all. Don't let nobody lie to you and say you need to have them down there for five and six and 10 years before they produce anything. I've been producing tomatoes and peppers and sweet potatoes and everything else I feel like growing up. Okra, ginger, I got ginger in here. Well, Lady Led planted the ginger right there. And right now what we seeing is, man, it's, it's bigger and doing better than we ever did. And we started it late. So, don't let nobody fool you. It works, you hear me? So, there you go, Lead Farmer 73. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna harvest the rest of these a little later on because I want them, I want to see if they even get bigger. You know, I'm gonna let them go a couple more, maybe another 30 days, maybe a few more weeks, and then we're gonna go from there. All right, let me get out of here. I'm burning up. Y'all should see the sweat on me. Left Farmer 73 and Lady Led, we love you and we out.